Hi, I'm DJ Ware. On this episode of the Cyber Gizmo, I'm just, this is a special edition, so I'm just including the benchmarks results from Red Hat 9 because I, I just couldn't get them done in time uh, for the video to go out. I like to keep to my schedule on when I release my videos, so yeah, I just, I, I, just, I just, there was no way to get that done in time, so this is a special release and I hope you enjoy the results. Okay, so today what we're going to benchmark is Red Hat 9, of course. We're going to be comparing it against Clear Linux, Artemis, Alpine, Fedora 36, Ubuntu 2204, and Debian 11. You'll, you'll notice here that the tests that are, are compiled and then you'll see red text, which means this was a last place finish. Uh, the green is first place and then the blue is, that's the raw score and they were somewhere in the middle. So let's go ahead and, and get started looking through all these. You can look, I can put, um, uh, I have a link to my result page. So if you want to go in and play with it and compare other ones, you can do that. So these are the ones that I wanted to look at. Now Dbench, I, these are 256 clients and only Red Hat and Alpine came out. Dbench will come out again at the bottom. So must have picked something wrong on that one. I thought I hit six, but I guess maybe not. Or maybe I pressed six and that picked 256. And Compile Bench has not been producing any results. It, it tries to run and then it fails. I think there's some uh, runtime errors in it. Postmark Red, uh, Red Hat does quite well in this one, which is of course, that's looking, that's emulating a mail server. RAM speed, we all run pretty close, but um, looks like Clear Linux is slightly faster for the most part, at least in the integer. And then we get closer together a little, we bunch up a little bit, but Clear Linux is still doing better. Same with scale, again, Clear Linux still doing a little bit better. They. It's all the same RAM as so on this machine, so I wouldn't expect it to vary too much unless there was something wrong with the code. Alpine, of course, did not was not able to successfully complete this one. It had a runtime error. Yeah, uh, the add floating point, same thing. We we move into floating point, and things kind of bunch up. Artemis does better in, on this test, the copy test. And then we're back to uh, Clear Linux. Just, it's close. It's within 100 points, which, it, which isn't much at this scale. Uh, triad, it's Clear Linux, slightly better than Red Hat. Red Hat is surprising me. It's, uh, it's holding its own. It, it really is. It's it's it, Red Hat is not tweaked like Clear Linux is, so it isn't favoring Intel so much. Although they are using the newer kernel, which may already have those tweaks in it, so it might be bringing it up a little closer. The stream, yeah, these are really tight together. Uh, yeah, there's very little difference between these. You know, although Clear Linux is. As far as the point scale is concerned, they are winning this one. But it is close. Any of these systems would perform competently. Cash Bench, Red Hat uh, definitely does well in this one. This, of course, is testing your LO cache. So this is, for a cloud server, this is exactly what you need it to do. Um, well, any server for that matter. Let's see, they're close, but Red Hat, I think, takes the right, and then on the read modify right, Clear Linux is doing way better. So there's some optimizations there that are kicking in, I would assume, just based on the uh, distance between the players. Uh, Red Hat again and Clear Linux are running pretty close on the open SSL, and Red Hat does better on this particular test. Uh, Apache, 
a red hat does better on this test. You would expect so because the SSL tests are doing well. And PHP Bench, I would expect Clear, yeah, Clear Linux is going to be, they're heavily, uh, heavily uh, tweaked for this kind of workload. Now, the flexible, I'm going to skip because I, I just, yeah, I just don't have enough data here. So let's pick this back up. Yeah, so I made a mistake on the Red Hat. I did, I picked the wrong one. So Clear Linux is doing well here. And now we have more of that again. So let me skip over these. These are, some of these results are direct and some of them are direct no. So like this one, that's the difference. So clearly I need to clean this up and redo it. So this is my fault, not, 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 the, uh, not the test. This is my fault. Okay, no John the Ripper test, so we'll start up here. So we got a harmonic mean. Looks like they're all close together with Ubuntu having a slight lead, which is weird because I didn't see Ubuntu pulling out anything. So yeah, Red Hat and Clear Linux are very close together. Uh, CPU massive, Clear Linux, followed by Ubuntu again. Memory test suite, Ubuntu, and then Red Hat after Clear Linux. Clear Linux on the mean CPU server test, followed by Red Hat, then Debian. Single thread, Ubuntu does quite well, even against the king, the <laughs> Clear Linux. I would think that they would do well, uh, but Ubuntu uh, shaded them out. So, what do we have on the first place finishes? Let me just... I'm going to stop this for just a second. So you have 24 first place finishes for Clear Linux, 6 for Alpine, 3 for Fedora, 3 for Red Hat, and then 2 for Debian, 2 for Ubuntu, and 2 for Artemis. And then the last place finishes, we have Fedora with 17. So Fedora overall, well, it you know, the... Fedora isn't really meant to be a server. It's meant to be a, a playground to find new new uh, software for Red Hat and test out new concepts. So we had 13 tests, it looks like, on the last place finishes for Ubuntu and six for Alpine. So Alpine had six first and six last, so it's kind of mixed. Artemis had six and two, so yeah. Red Hat did not show up here because it, it doesn't meet the threshold so it's kind of firmly in the middle is the way I would read that on, on this particular marker. But up here, it had three. That's Red Hat right there. Fedora, which is exactly the same. And I think the only reason why it's placed this way is because it's alphabetical. <laughs> so, yeah, those are exactly the same. And then, uh, yeah, and then Alpine and then Clear Linux. Clearly the dominant one there. So that's my results. Let's go. Let's talk about it. So we kind of looked at it a little bit, and I think you see that Clear Linux is the overall winner in that particular group of tests. Um, so as far as Red Hat is concerned, it does it does very well. It it finished I think overall either second or third most of the time. So uh, it I mean it definitely is a good performer. That's why people use it. That's why they people trust it. Plus you can get support for it. So. Those are all big pluses when you're trying to keep a system up and running in a production uh, environment. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it, uh, yeah, it's very, it is very good at what it does. So, next time we'll be adding Rocky 9 to the mix. Rocky 9 also has some very unique things that that group, that, de that development group has done uh, to differentiate themselves and also to. Uh, make it harder for someone to just take over their uh, repo and push them out of the way, as happened with CentOS. So, anyway, I hope to see you next week, and bye for now.